My name is Liam Morrison. I'm a data science leader inside of AWS focusing on practical applications of machine learning in media and entertainment. Uh, so today we're going to focus on personalization and recommendation and we're going to give you a demo of a service called Amazon Personalize. Uh, so what I have here is a sample of a, a direct-to-consumer site where I've loaded it with uh, 32,000 movies, and then also 25 million interactions that simulate the interactions of a direct-to-consumer site. Uh, so I've taken all of that data and put it into Amazon Personalize, which allows you to train multiple different types of personal personalization for a platform. Uh, so just to give an example, you have what you commonly see as top picks for you or recommended for you. Um, that's this top shelf or rail here. Uh, where you see, based on, on my interactions to date, I get a pretty general example of what movies I might be interested in. Um, so that's the, the core recommender, uh, which is recommended for you inside of Amazon Personalize. You can then click into a movie, and it will show you, based on the interaction, it will say, this movie, here are other movies you might like if you liked this movie. Uh, so based on the interactions and also additional item metadata that we populate from the INDB data set, which is available also in AWS, uh, we get the similar titles. So if you like the movie Fantasia, you may also like these other movies. So as you can see, they're pretty spot on, and, and with your interaction data, you can dial in to very accurate uh, recommendations. Um, one other thing we're doing here is we're actually also adding in the concept of pre-roll, so promotional items that you might have. Uh, we're using Amazon Personalize with Media Tailor to actually recommend the type of pre-roll content that you might use. So notice right now it's animation and comedy um, based on the, work, the clicks I've been doing to date. Um, we'll look in a little bit and it will likely change based on the behavior you're going to see me experiencing as I click on different titles. Um, so. Uh, a couple other key components of Amazon Personalize is filters, where you can actually uh, filter based on a lot of different things like genres, so action, comedy, like you really get to create your own filter methodology. Um, but I've actually created some pretty unique uh, recommendation rails. So right here I have this concept of hidden gems, which this is based on your activity to date, which is you know all of my clicks and watches up to now. Um, I've created the long tail content that you might want to recommend. So uh, indie documentaries, a lot of indie uh, animation you see here, Wallace and Gromit, very, very good, but not always well-known uh, indie animation. Um, so let's start interacting and watch how the recommendations change based on that. So I'm actually going to change my behavior. So I, I clearly have been generally interested in animation and kind of big movies. Let's go down a documentary path. So I'm going to start clicking on documentaries. So I'm sending an event into Amazon Personalize that is a watch. So now I keep watching. If you notice, the pre-roll pretty quickly changed. You get to control how fast you want these changes to happen and how diverse the recommendation should be. But Personalize very quickly picked up. Your behavior changed. You're interested in documentaries now, not animation and comedy. Um, so I've now watched a good amount of documentaries. Let's refresh and get a new set of recommendations. You'll see it's following my behavior. So I'm starting to get more and more documentaries recommended to me. I'm going to go ahead and change my behavior yet again and I'm going to go down a horror path. So uh, the idea here is the personalization should follow your behavior um, as you go. So still, you notice it's still recommending documentaries, but it should change pretty quickly. Um, horror thriller, so yeah, now it's already begun changing the, the recommendation. So horror thriller is the pre-roll that I'm getting uh, before my content. Um, and then I'm going to do a refresh, and you'll see that the recommendations, again, change. Again, I haven't watched enough to fully change my behavior, but the idea here is to give you a set of recommendations that are accurate to the work, what you're watching right then and there, and really follow the intent of the viewer. Um, another key component of Amazon Personalize is this concept of um, filtering for events like watch. So you can say, uh, watch again, or maybe you want to filter out the items that they've watched from the recommendations and do some type of um, intelligent recommendations so once they watch a movie, you no longer want to recommend it. Um, so that is a pretty high-level view of how to implement Amazon Personalize to implement recommendations into a website. Um, this is a simple API that you can actually build right into your platform, very simply add recommendations into an already built platform um, and uh, get started. So if you want more information, uh, uh, check out the Amazon Personalize uh, webpage. Thank you.